Hello, first graders. Monarch and Milkweed by Helen Frost and Leonid Gore. A map with a key or a legend. Monarch and Milkweed. Monarch and Milkweed. In a patch of dirt behind an old red barn, milkweed stretches into warm spring air. Its roots reach deep and wide. Its stem points to the sky. Monarch spreads her, spreads her wings and rides the wind past white and yellow daisies across a creek heading north. Milkweed's new leaves push out, then purple flowers soft and round and fragrant. Monarch finds a dandelion, drinks its nectar and flies on. She stops again and rests and drinks and flies again. Milkweed stretches taller, two by two, its leaves spread wide, sheltering long lake spiders and black and orange beetles. Monarch lights on milkweed, drums her feet on milkweed's flower, and tastes home. A breeze bends milkweed side to side. Monarch chooses its best leaf, swaying in the breeze with milkweed. She curls her body underneath the leaf and glues one pale yellow egg to its soft underside. She flies from milkweed plant to milkweed plant, dropping on each to lay one shiny egg. Inside monarch egg, a caterpillar forms and four days later pushes out shorter than an eyelash, almost invisible against the leaf's pale green. It eats the shell that had that held it, then moves across the leaf. It eats the leaf it grows. And when it grows too big to fit inside its skin, it crawls right out. New skin is already formed beneath the old. Yellow, black, and white, the monarch caterpillar feeds on milkweed's bitter leaves and grows. Four times the caterpillar sheds its skin and then one evening in late summer, it leaves a sturdy pad. It weaves a sturdy pad under a milkweed leaf, hangs upside down and shapes its body like a J. Its feelers droop and one last time it sheds its skin. It twists and turns and pulls its body up, transforming into a chrysalis. It hangs beneath the leaf, a shining jewel, jade green, specked with gold. Twelve days the monarch chrysalis shines in moonlight shadows. Twelve nights it waits under the moon and stars. It grows darker gray than black and orange as new monarch wings shine through. forms into a chrysalis, right? Early one morning, the chrysalis splits open. A new monarch steps out. Moist wings press against her body. She clings to the clear case of the chrysalis as warm air dries her wings. She opens her wing, closes them, opens them wide. A light breeze lifts her and she flies. Milkweed's leaves, now full of holes, turn yellow, then brown, their edges curl, and they begin to fall. Monarch flies from purple zinnia to black-eyed Susans, drinking nectar, getting ready. As the days turn cool, she turns south toward warmer air to begin her longest journey. 
Milkweed pods are full, its seeds are almost ready. In September's sun, the pods' strong walls turn dry and brown. Monarch flies and rides the wind, stopping only long enough to drink sweet nectar from a field of purple asters. She follows the last flowers of summer as she flies on and on, almost 2,000 miles, all the way to Mexico. Milkweed pods split open. Brown seeds lay close together on the soft, white bed. October wind catches a silly a silky tendril, opens it and lifts a seed into the air, carrying it out and away across the river to an old white house. A kitten re reaches up a paw and bats at the white fluff until it disappears. Rain comes, snow comes, rain comes again, warm sun or sun warms the earth, earth warms the seed and under the dirt it opens. Roots reach down, a tip of green presses out and up toward warmth and light. Milkweed's first spring leaf unfurls. Far to the south in Mexico, monarch rides the wind toward it. And this story, it just talks about how a milkweed plant grows, and it's about the milkweed's life cycle and the monarch butterfly's life cycle. Both plant and animals have life cycles. We go through changes as we grow. And this talks about it. You could notice all kinds of life cycles outside in your world. I hope you enjoyed the book. Monarch and Milkweed.